I recently joined the Lawyers Insurance Fund, and one thing that I've noticed is a lot of the claims we receive are for missed limitation periods. In fact, I understand about one quarter of all reports relate to missed limitation periods or another deadline that's facing a client. For example, we had one case involving a lawyer who was acting for his friend who had suffered injuries in a motor vehicle accident. The lawyer was a well-respected litigator in a downtown Vancouver firm. The firm did a lot of personal injury work and it had an electronic diary system to track limitation periods. The accident occurred in about June 2010 and the client came in to see the lawyer several months later, but the client's timing was bad for two reasons. First, the lawyer was leaving on vacation to Europe that evening and he was desperate to get out of the office. Secondly, the lawyer had just retained a new assistant and the assistant had no litigation experience. The assistant opened the file properly. She physically wrote the limitation period inside the file, but she failed to enter it into the electronic system. So over the next few years, the lawyer met with the client informally in the neighborhood. They talked about the case, they talked about her injuries, and they decided that they were going to wait until her injuries stabilized before proceeding with trying to settle the claim. It wasn't until May 2014, so this is almost one full year after the limitation period had expired, that the lawyer noticed that he missed the limitation period. So he called us immediately. He was embarrassed and distraught and frustrated with himself and how he handled the file. He realized that he gave instructions to his new assistant far too quickly because he was trying desperately to get out of the office on vacation, and he assumed that she'd received the appropriate office training. What he should have done is have another assistant more experienced with the firm system enter the required information. He also noted that he'd fallen into a far more informal approach than usual on this file because of his friendship with his client, so he missed the usual reviews that might have alerted him to the pending limitation beforehand. We tried everything we could to save the file, including extending the limitation period, but there was nothing that could be done. So we ended up paying several hundred thousand dollars to resolve the matter, given the client's extensive injuries. So this really shows that the best systems are often only as good as the people using them. Turning back to our example, our lawyer told us that his firm has now implemented a further system in addition to their electronic diary system, in that they physically review all files with limitation requirements three times per year.